Hi, uh, this is Reed Redden. I'm a sheep and goat specialist for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. Um, I'm here today uh, to kind of show you an example of the nutritional demands that it requires for use to raise singles versus twins. I'm in a little small trailer here. Um, I've got a group of ewes and I've sorted the ewes with twins to the back of the trailer and the ewes with singles to the front of the trailer. And in this you'll notice that the ewes in the back of the trailer that are carrying twins are at around a two and a half body condition score and their lambs are doing good uh, but just a small a bit smaller than the ewes in the front side of the trailer who've all had singles and uh, have all been managed the same the ewes in the front are at a pretty solid body condition three some of these ewes are even a body condition score three and a half and if you'll notice that their lambs are even quite a bit bigger a uh, little a little bloomier, a little bit larger. So if a person didn't know the difference between which ewes raised, which lambs, singles or twins, you'd come through here, sort off the smaller lambs, um, sell them, keep the bigger lambs, which were all single born, and maybe even cull off the ewes uh, that were doing the best job raising the twins before the low body condition score towards the end of the lambing season uh, when you got ready to wean them. So it's critically important um, that we know if they're raising singles and twins so that we can fit our man uh, to be able to be appropriate. The ewes in the back here are, are not in a, a bad condition score for this time. Uh, the lambs are probably 30 days from weaning, so we'll sort these ewes off, get them on a little extra feed. Make sure they, uh, after they get dried up and the lambs are pulled off, that we'll allow them to get back to a body condition three before breeding, whereas the ewes in the front will wean those lambs off uh, and they need very little management uh, to get through until next breeding season.